we, as concerned former supporters of Alan Kojo Kiramanteng presidential candidacy within the MPP, are here today to express our profound disappointment in Mr. Kiramanteng for what we consider as a significant betrayal. We, as concerned, first and foremost, we are individuals who have steadfastly believed in Alan's leadership within the party. I underscore this within our party for an extended period of 17 years to be exact. We have diligently worked alongside with him, supporting his campaigns and believing in his potential to lead the new patriotic party, especially in the upcoming 2024 general elections. However, Alan chose to withdraw from the race abruptly without prior notice, citing isolated incidents of violence in some regions of the country after our special delegate conference. This decision has inflicted unnecessary hardship on us because we firmly believe that the grassroots were firmly behind him. Ladies and gentlemen of the media, we can only describe this action as cowardly. We cannot say he's a coward, but the action is cowardly. And the betrayal of his loyal supporters, including all of us here. The New Patriotic Party is a democratic organization and we all have the right to support any candidate of our choice during our internal elections. We are free. As you can see, we chose to go with Alan Chirmanteng, and this is what has happened. Today, we think the party first. Not that we love, uh, not that we love uh, Alan less, but we love MPP more. Our support for Alan was rooted in his MPP membership. Not as a, a, an individual or as a person, but his membership of the MPP. And we saw that he was very credible that could uh, pull us through uh, these very trying uh, moments. As we believed he was one of the party's fun, fun, uh, foundation members who could uphold his principles and traditions. However, we were shocked to learn of his resignation for the MPP yesterday. Some of us were sorely disappointed. It is worth noting that during our campaigns, we vigorously defended Alan's loyalty to the party, dismissing claims that he would resign if he didn't win. That was the perception out there. People were saying that he would resign if he doesn't win. But we defended it vigorously. So today, where are we? We now find ourselves faced with the stark reality of his resignation as at yesterday. Many of us found it very difficult to, to even just blink. The whole night was a white night for some of us because we couldn't sleep. We will not betray our party for any uh, individual, not even the president of the republic. We remain MPP, we will champion the cause of MPP, we shall die for MPP, and we shall make sure that MPP succeeds in 2024.